Hi, ladies. Rachel Lee with Whole Woman Health and The Shed, which is a premium executive health coaching program specifically for busy professional women, executives, and entrepreneurs, uh, mainly those who have sacrificed their personal well being for their professional success. So if this is you, I'm speaking to you. So I want to I want to share something with you that blew my mind and it might blow your mind and it might also create some visibility as to why you do what you do. <laughs> so I hear a lot from my clients about oh my god, why am I why am I doing what I'm doing? Like I'm so successful in so many areas of my life, yet when it comes to holding my commitments to work on my health, my weight management, meal prepping, exercising time for myself, whatever it may be, I don't hold my commitments. I don't do it. And one of the things I teach women in the shed is this. Stay with me. Okay. Is your beliefs that you have around certain things may not be your beliefs. They may have been passed down from to you generationally. Think about this. You were inside your grandmother's womb. <laughs> Trippy, huh? Okay, listen, you were an egg inside of your mother's ovary, which she was inside of your grandmother's womb. And what we know, of course, is that DNA is passed down. So if we look at your health history and some of your, you know, maybe your conditions or your, um, your lab markers of like your physiological makeup, there is direct correlation, of course. But what you might not know is that beliefs are also passed down because beliefs are energies. They are chemicals released in your brain that creates energy that is passed into all cells of the body, including your mom inside of your grandmother's womb, including you as the egg inside of your mother, inside your grandmother's womb. Trippy, I'm telling you, this was mind blowing. So here's why it's important is because most likely you have not been given permission, the opportunity, or the tool to look at all of your beliefs and decide if they're even your own. Lots of times women's beliefs will dictate the actions that they take and create the results in their lives. Yet, very rarely do we take the time to say, does that belief match with how I feel, what I wanna do, and the outcome I'm trying to achieve. Is that even my belief? Was that given to me? Who was it given by? And if I don't like it, and it doesn't work for me as the woman that I am trying to become, I get to change it. The reason why this is so important is because most likely your grandmother's beliefs, your mother's beliefs, do not align with your beliefs. That's okay, by the way. We love our mamas and we love our grandmothers, but they lived in a different time. You're trying to create something completely different here, which requires you to have a different set of beliefs. So we love our grandmothers and our mothers for everything that they accomplished and they believe and they thought and they did. And we're just gently going to hand them those beliefs back and create our own set of guidelines that gets us what we want proudly, confidently, independently that are in alignment with who we are as women. This is important in your health and well-being. Spending time on yourself guilt-free, eating to support your health and your nutrition and your energy and your hormones and your weight management, even when your family and your kids don't want to, guilt-free. How much money should you make? How much money should you ask for? How much time should you take alone? 
all of these things that were given to you that you have hung on to and they have served you very well because you are a strong, independent, successful, professional woman. And now we're going to level up and we're going to look at what has been given to us. We're going to break it down. We're going to do an audit. We're going to kindly hand back those beliefs that no longer work for us and are not ours. And we're going to create our own and we're going to get exactly what we want in life, mentally, physically, and emotionally. This is some of the work that we do in the shed, ladies. If you're interested in this program and learning more, I highly encourage you to jump on my calendar. Go to wholewomanhealth.com, check out the shed landing page, jump on my calendar. Let's have a conversation. It is a, it is a very specific program where nutrition science, coaching psychology, and laboratory testing intersect to create your own guideline and playbook and then teach you how to rewire your brain to ensure that it sticks, it matches with your core values, and it gets you exactly the goals that you want in your life. So if you are a professional woman, executive, or entrepreneur, and you want something completely different from what you may have experienced in the past, especially related to weight loss, you might wanna check us out. Registration closes on July 28th and we begin on August 1st. See you there.